What's up gamers? Um, this video right was recorded two weeks ago. I just edited it today though. Um, are you wondering why I ditched my YouTube channel? I didn't because I I'm still uploading and I'm just not very active. Basically I've been watching anime for the past week and a half basically. Um, I, I don't have a lot of time to edit my videos if I spend seven hours a day watching um, anime but uh, by the way, whoever guesses the song at the start wins four years of good luck. Yeah. Um. Hope you enjoy the video, and I hope that I don't ditch my channel. So, yeah. Yo, how's it going, bros? My name's Depression. So today I'm going to change up the format of the video by a little bit. Um, today I'm gonna be making this farm, okay? Uh, off camera, by the way, I got the elytra. I did record a video of the NCT purging, but um, <laughs> it was really boring, so I decided that I'm not gonna waste my time up editing it. So, uh, this is the uh, Hogman farm I'm gonna make. It is this design, I didn't think of a design by myself. It's actually made by. If I recall correctly, Il Mango, which is another YouTuber like Nyambom that shows us these farms and such. Uh, it's really easy as you can see, very simple. The one back there was, uh, I tried to make one and it didn't work out. Uh, very simple resources needed. I already collected them on my survival world, as you can see. And down there is very simple when they spawn. Okay, when they spawn, they get scared away by these mushrooms. I don't know why they're scared of it. Probably because they smell weird or something. I don't know. Um, the AI path find a little weird if I'm standing here while they're doing it. But if you're AFK up on the AFK platform, usually they just walk straight in. Then they'll drop down into lava. They won't kill them. They'll drop into the chute. But they'll either die of fall damage or die from the campfire. And... The good thing about campfires is that things can die on top of the campfire. Let me just. Oh god. Okay. Um. Wow. So yeah, mobs can die on top of the campfire and and. If things, anything dies on the campfire, they'll go straight to the hopper under it. So, yeah, it's basically the easiest way for me to handle piglins, uh, I mean hoglins, sorry, that stay alive after they drop down. This all doesn't have to be glass. Uh, yeah, this is a um, very simple farm which I'm going to make right now. Okay, so I'm going to start off uh, making this farm by first going to the nether ceiling. I, I'll link a video I have if I remember to in the description below if you want to see how sh do you get on the ceiling and break bedrock. But after you went on the ceiling, you open your F3 screen, ignore these black spikes, please. Okay, and then you just look for a, the warped for no, crimson forest biome, yes. So this is the crimson forest biome, it says um, down there. Okay, um, three rows below server light, bio, minecraft, crimson forest. So, you go a bit over here, now you are at the crimson forest biome. You pick a random spot for you to build that. Okay, I'll turn off F3 first. So, to make this farm, you're gonna need these. need 10 stacks of any solid block, 8 hoppers, 80 torch, okay. 2 chests, 8 campfires, 8 warp nilium, 8 warp fungus, 8 dark oak signs, uh, 80 trap doors of any kind, and the glass is about 3 stacks and a bit more. So, you're gonna start to build it, so first you have to tower up. You wanna have to go tower up to, let's see, um... 
y equals 207. So I'm just going to towel up there and I'll cut back when I get to 207. Okay, so now that I'm on y equals 207, as you can see, I'm just going to build around a slight bit so that I can place my sugar box. And you're gonna grab your glass. Okay, so take your glass, and then you make a flooring around here. You could use glass, you could use half slabs, but make sure that mobs cannot spawn on these. Okay, so. I'm just gonna make one about let's say six wide, okay? I'm gonna make one about six. You know what? I'll just count it afterwards. Make it okay, six wide. Then you have to make one, two, three, four, another two more. So that's It's about 10. So here you'll have a 6 wide, 10 long platform of blocks where on mobs cannot spawn on because this will be the platform where you collect your loot. Yeah, you're not AFKing on this platform, not yet. Uh, actually, no, you're not AFK on this platform in general. Okay, so now you're gonna grab your hoppers and chests. That's not hopper. Um, yeah, you can grab your campfires if you want. Okay, grab the stuff. Okay, I'm gonna turn off F3. Okay, so what you wanna do is that you're gonna have two chests going like this, a double chest. You're gonna have an array of all eight of your hoppers going into each other to the back. Now, this is correct, yeah. So, you need to put on the campfires on top. They, they can hurt you. Be wary of that. Place your campfire to the hoppers. Okay. And then you start building a little bit around the campfires. Although take note that the blocks on top of the chest should be glass. Okay. I'm just gonna do this, make it look a bit better. My personal preference is three blocks of glass so I can see all the hoglins that drop in and die. Yeah. Sadistic I know but you know you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. So now that you have this ring of netherrack around your campfires, you're gonna start building up. You're gonna build up to level 237 so let me open up F3 again 237 okay so it's gonna get there straight away right now uh, sorry if it's uh, especially laggy today uh, because I'm installing GTA 5 and my laptop can't handle installations like that but this is where you're gonna have to pillar up to so you're gonna finish the other sides later to make a full wall which as a matter of fact I'm gonna do now so I'll cut back after I've done so okay so I have towered up to 237 and what you want to do is that with this ring around you build out another three blocks okay and then you're gonna start building a wall around so that and then from here you build out another five blocks one two three four five so now if you look carefully it should be a four block white hole here and then it goes another six blocks out like so so you have to do the same thing on the other side okay two three four five six okay And then you just need to finish the whole entire platform, fill the whole thing in. Okay, so 
now you're going to continue the farm. This is the first platform. Um, you saw the prototype just now. We had five platforms. You cover the whole entire wall up here with glass. Okay, so you just go up to here and place glass all along. Okay, so right now you build up another set of the walls. So what I mean is that right now you do another curve along the hole like so. They have to have this area to fall into. But then you curve along the hole again. And then again from here you build another three blocks. One, two, three. And then build out the walls again. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's the general shape of the farm. You just repeat this until you think your farm is finished. It's best to have the most final block to touch the build limit so that you have the highest possible place that you can build up to. To maximize the spawn rates, you, you make your AFK platform up there. But I suggest you to first work on the general shape of the farm and then after that you can start like working out the actual mechanics of it. So yeah, I'm going to finish the these platforms and when I'm done, I'm going to cut back. So you want to get the main block of your system to have them jump in. I'm going to grab your warped nilium, your warped fungus and your trap door. So first, you have to do some very important spawn proofing. Basically, this is how it works in the warm crimson. For I don't know what's wrong with me. In the crimson forest biome, you could encounter piglins and hoglins, but piglins and zombified piglings have a specific light level of which they spawn. If you place torches like so, the air will be too bright for any piglins to spawn. But hoglins, they can spawn in any light level. So. This is basically spawn proofing the area so that only hoglins spawn. Okay, so now, just going to, as a matter of fact, no, that's wrong. Okay, so what you want to do is that you don't place your warp nilium first, you only place them on the second and fourth layer so that you can scare all the pig hoglins on the other layers. You need to grab your blocks, you need to grab your this no buttons yeah okay remember that I need to bring buttons so what you need to do is first I'm going to place some temporary blocks to get to the back you need to have such blocks wrapping up the behind and then you're gonna have to get some glass have something that goes like so Okay, down here, just do take your buttons and then, yeah, you do this. Okay, I'll explain why in a bit. Actually, you should not have broken those first, but now you can break them safely. Take your trap doors, 
place them on the buttons like so on that level close them all place more trap doors over here another layer up here and one last layer down here so what's happening is basically um, after I put the what mm, what fungus yeah the hoglins will be scared of them they'll run over here and because of their pathfinding they will think that they could just see these trapdoors as solid blocks so they will see this and they will want to either walk over into these blocks or they will try to jump over into these blocks now because these have buttons on them nothing can spawn on them and these are trapdoors so yeah obviously they'll fall in but obviously we have to make it a bit more proofed so we have to do this in every level I'm gonna need quite a lot of trapdoors because of that I'm gonna go down a bit all you need to do actually is that every level this level you have to have Set of trap doors. So basically, three rows of trap doors. Then you skip. So you skip um, here. Then you place four buttons. Okay. So basically, you just want to skip one level and then you continue placing the trap doors. Okay. Yeah, and basically you just repeat this pattern for the entire farm also. Um, now that we're in the fourth layer of the farm, you have to remember to place the Wagnelium. The way I place them is by place two at the center here. And then at the sides, I place another two, two blocks away from the corners. One. Two. I place my warp fungus. Also, do not forget you have to place torches down to spawn proof that I place. Otherwise, you're going to end up having piglin spawn, which will just stay on the platform and clog up the spawn rates. Okay. So make sure you do this for every single layer, and I'll cut back when you're when I'm done. Yeah. Okay. So I'll be finished with this generally easy farm. Okay, so next you should grab your it's the wrong shocker box. So I need to dye them, which I will like, uh, off camera. I just got lazy, but now this is technically the farm done. But you want cooked pork chops, of course. So you have to put lava. And um, one layer is enough because the campfires down there will kill them. But right now. As a matter of fact, I have forgotten to bring lava. Yeah, bravo, bravo. Um, let's go get some lava right now, and yeah, I'll probably come back after I get some. I just need one bucket. Okay, I've just gotten lava bucket, and I think it's a great time to test out my elytra skills. Um, I don't think I should be that bad at them. Yeah, that's right. This is the farm. Oh man, okay, so see if I can cut into the last layer like so. You know what, uh, fair enough, I don't want to <laughs> fall off the whole thing and die. So I'm just going to slightly do this. So last layer, okay. So let's put lava, you can put it anywhere you want, as long as it covers that whole layer. You don't want to kill them with the lava, you just want to have them drop down. And now... Farm should be complete. Oh crap. Okay, I used up like eight fireworks from that. No, I'm just gonna build up there. I don't trust myself. I think I'm gonna end up wasting Elytra. <laughs> okay, so you just all you need to do now is to get to the top of your farm and from any side. Okay, I'm gonna choose this side. As a matter of fact, no, you should just use this side. You're gonna build out 24 blocks, okay? At least so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 
Okay, then you place your glass block. Line it up a bit. Okay, you know what? You don't have to. It's a glass block. Nothing was spawned there. Okay, you're gonna have to break these temporary blocks. Okay. Now from here you should build up to the height limit. Okay, mine blocks under yourself. Get yourself some glass to stand on. Okay, Let's see. Okay, as you can see some already spawning. The rates I don't think will be that good because um, you should take note of this. I accidentally built this farm pretty close to my goat farm down there. You can see a bit of the edges, so I'm pretty sure some of the piglins there are hogging up the rates. If you know what I mean, ha! Uh, funny joke. But yeah, um, that know that happens a couple sometimes, but there's really nothing I can do. The rates are still half decent, I say. Okay, I suggest you to have a ladder coming up here, but for me, I just use my elytra because I just got it, why can't I? I'm gonna AFK here for about 5 minutes and see how much cooked pork chop I get. Okay, so I have AFK for like 5 minutes. Um, if you're in a farm and your rates are bad, just be patient. You will get quite some spawns later on. And for 5 minutes alone, we got more than a stack of cooked pork chop. We got a stack and a half, roughly, I'd say. Okay, um, now of the mind, okay, one hour has 20 times, that's not right, <laughs> wait, 12 times 5 minutes, so you get 18 stacks of cooked pork chop per hour, that's like, it's a thousand, yeah. So, farm obviously works, we already have enough food to last us who knows how long. Um, yeah, they will spawn a bit if you stand down here, but the higher you are, the better the rates will be. I try to build a platform there to stay away from the other farm and it seemed to work a bit better so yeah um, just take note of these things when you're building this farm don't build it around any other farms especially the ones as huge of a scale as my piglin goat farm so yeah right now just afk here for a bit more time because I really want to stock up on those pork chops and I think I'm gonna end the video right here like and subscribe hope you enjoy the video I really like this farm quite proud of it. It's really simple, really easy as well. Anyone can do it. There's no redstone either as well. Yeah, I'm going to end the video right here and see ya. Like and subscribe if you want to be a part of the, um, the, the depression gang. Yeah.